Sunshine. My nasty cut that I got from the drill yesterday. Uh, but today's agenda, instead of doing a dread review, I'm in need of some maintenance myself. So consider this a, I was going to do an apple cider vinegar rinse, a coconut oil deep clean condition, but I'm going skating tonight, so... Awake and bake ting. On second thoughts, I'm gonna do it now. So, what do we need to do? Boil some water. Yeah, so I got this shit here. Uh, bacon soda, apple cider vinegar. Notice how it says 100% natural, unpasteurized. Or this could be the same, but I don't. I have it from Concentrate. The life hack here is use a skateboard. I have a long board I can lay on and put my head in the buckets here. I need a bigger bowl, but that's all I have in the meantime. And essentially, using the long board allows you to lay down. I might end up spilling some shit here. But let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna smoke the spliff first, though. Baby, do you know the importance of apple cider vinegar rinse? I think it's to do with preventative care. I'm gonna look it up. You wanna do the ACV rinse, the benefits of it, balances pH, works well to clear up fungus, it's a bacterial wash. You can use it to soothe bug bite stings, jellyfish stings. So there's a lot of great uses for apple cider vinegar. But today we're using it as a bacterial wash. Spark this up first. That's before. I'm going in now for 15. All right, I agree that the skateboard works a lot better. Just don't let your scalp touch the hot water because it is bloody hot. It'll burn. So best thing to do is let your hair soak in there. And um, after this, I'm gonna try and do a, a cleanse with some oil for my scalp. But what you can do is, since the water is so hot, just try and massage some of the water onto your scalp in ways where it doesn't burn. Because you don't want to just put the hot water on there. It'll be too hot. 15 minutes I'm gonna do. Go for half an hour if you want. It's however long that you want, really. I'm about 15 minutes in. I've been kind of taking the dreads that have been soaking and squeezing them out onto the section of my scalp that doesn't have any vinegar or hot water on it and just kind of massaging that area to kind of loosen up any dead skin so when I go to wash it it's going to kind of be already in a better position to come out so I'm going to continue here for about five more minutes or so and then I'm going to take these out and then rinse or squeeze them out one time and let's see if there's any difference in the water. I, I'm not one to usually get a difference in the water when I'm done doing the rinse, but I'll show you. All right, so I think the trick to getting your water like really dirty after is as you're getting out of the water, squeeze everything out of your dreads back into the bowl. 
to really see the whole collection of the water and you know what this is actually the best ACV rinse result I've ever gotten look like that's pretty brown that is pretty brown <laughs> wow I'm impressed of course you gotta have the dread dog here in support of the journey <laughs> he was there the whole time check out that water though that is some shit right there so good to see that there was a difference in the water this time I'm just gonna pour it out Wow, and look at that. Just see all the dirt. A lot of a lot of dead hair actually. That's crazy. I got a lot out that time. So now I'm gonna put some oil, coconut oil, and some olive oil on my scalp, and then I'm gonna wash my hair. All right, um, in terms of the oil, I took coconut oil and I just put it on my scalp, making sure not to rub it into my on my dreads, just in my scalp areas, and then I put this bag on, because my hair is still wet, um, just so that the oil can sit on my scalp whatever 10 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go wash it all out in the shower time to wash I'll see you in a minute all right so I got everything washed just gonna dry my hair for a while don't mind the dogs and um, what else are we gonna do I want to show you my drying apparatus that I have wanting here as much as I endorse letting the air dry, I want to show you guys my extra large drying hood that connects to a hair dryer through the end here. And it acts like one of those salon type of dealios where you sit under the chair. It does have drawstrings so you can tighten it. Basically, you just put your locks up there, tighten the string. It even has this little, <laughs> it's like a, a, a chin strap so it doesn't blow off your head. And I just put this on to the, whoa. I'm just gonna put it on the hair dryer. Dryer. And uh, you turn it on. It does get pretty hot, so I, I go between warm and cool quite a bit. It's got some air vents along the tubing. But essentially, I can put it to hot. And now I got a bag on my head that dries my hair more efficiently with the hair dryer than just putting the hair dryer right on it. So I don't do this till it's fully dry, just maybe 60% dry, and then I let it air dry for the rest of the day because it's, it's only noon and I have nine more hours of sunlight to dry my hair, so it should be an easy fix. So after the fact, I'm just letting them get in the sun. I blow dried a little bit, and uh, now I'm just trying to let the sun chill them out so I was pretty shocked over the amount of, of dirt that was in my dreads from the ACV rinse so probably my most successful one yet and um, yeah, at this point now I just want to let them dry up and everything was good in this in this routine so I mean next rinse I feel I would do another three to four months 
I try to do it once every season. How often do you ACB rinse? But I'm gonna sign off here. I dreads out. One last shake. I'm signing off, it's not nation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gone. Peace. Did you shine?